Hi guys, it's your girl Jilly. Moving on to Leo and Capricorn compatibility. Now remember, this will not, I repeat, this will not resonate with every Leo and Capricorn because we all have our own individual birth charts. You wanna look up for the Venus, Moon, and Mars sign of the Leo or Capricorn that you are interested in. Make sure to look these up because Venus is how we love and what we're attracted to. Moon is how we express emotions and Mars is our sex drive. Now let's get started. They are rulers. Leo's ruler is the sun, the ruler of the ego. Capricorn's ruler is Saturn, the ruler of discipline and focus. Their elements, Leo's element is fire. Capricorn's element is earth. Not necessarily opposite elements, but not necessarily complementary elements here either. What attracts these two to each other? It's mostly, it's mostly physical appearance with these two because what they share in common is that they want to look attractive to other people. When they go out, they're out to make an impression. So when they do this, they're more than likely gonna attract each other because they're looking to impress and they're impressed by the other person. So mostly it's a physical attraction when it comes to these two. I'm not gonna lie guys, this match does take quite a bit of work if it's gonna go for the long haul. Now do they have common interests? Yes, but there's differences in their common interests and I'll break that down in just a bit. Now what do these two share in common? They're both very self-aware. They know exactly what they want and they go after it. They're very goal-oriented. They're very ambitious. You know, both of these signs like money and they both don't mind doing what they have to do to get it. Now, Leo gets it more in a social um, networking type of way, whereas Capricorn puts in the hard work and discipline and studying to get the money. So yes, like they said, they have similar traits, but they're a little different. There's differences in their similarity. Like I said, they both like money. They also are all about appearances. Leo likes to impress people by one, being attractive physically, also by entertaining, being a character being the star of the show. Whereas Capricorn likes to impress other people by being powerful, professional, very strong in the business industry. So they are both impressive, but in different ways. Now, as far as their communication style, now this is where I'm gonna start mixing in the cons here because what I said earlier is pretty much the gist of what they have in common, but those common traits, like I said, have different different things about those similarities, like I said earlier. Now, when it comes to the cons, here we go, guys. Capricorn is an earth sign. Leo is a fire sign. So Leo tends to like to move quickly, whereas Capricorn is earth. Earth has roots planted, so they don't like to move. And if they do move, it's painfully slow, at least according to Leo. Leo is all about spontaneity, impulsiveness, fiery passion, not thinking about things. And not saying that Capricorn is not passionate, they are, but they wanna make sure that the person they're with is the person they wanna share their passion with. So they wanna take their time to get to know Leo, see what Leo's about, see what their ambitions are, if their goals match theirs, if this is the perfect person for them. So Capricorn really likes to analyze and think and before they make a decision to be with Leo completely 100% and let them in fully because Capricorn does tend to have trust issues. And Leo, who's a very social sign, very flirtatious sign, tends to activate Capricorn's trust issues. Because Capricorn sees it like, why do you have to have all this attention from other people? Now Capricorn likes attention, but not in the same way Leo does. Leo likes to basically be the star of the show, wants everyone desiring them, wants everybody to worship them. Capricorn wants to impress people by their professionalism, by what they've achieved in life. So the attention that they want is quite different. So they don't really trust Leo because of the type of attention Leo wants. Leo can find Capricorn quite dull, quite boring because of the fact they're not letting their true selves out quite yet or not quite as fast as Leo would like because believe it or not, Capricorn's a lot of fun and Capricorn's very, very goofy and very, very funny and they can take down their professional act 
very easily, but only with people they trust. And Leo, until Leo shows that they can be trustworthy, Capricorn is not going to show that side to them. And the thing is, Leo is loyal. They're known as the loyal lion. But because they move so quickly and not at the same pace as Capricorn, Capricorn doesn't trust Leo that easily. Now, when it comes to finances, you know how I said earlier they're all about getting money and getting their goals and their aspirations and their dreams? Well, Leo tends to spend money as quickly as they get it. Now, they get money and they can earn it and earn it very quickly, but they don't tend to be the most responsible with money because they, they want to live the good life. The good life costs money. Those fancy bags, those fancy shoes, those fancy watches, those ties, those cost money. And Leo wants to keep those appearances up because that's what they enjoy. This will freak Capricorn out because Capricorn has money and they have nice things, but they're very good at budgeting things. Now, Capricorn can see Leo as very careless, as very irresponsible, and Leo can just see Capricorn as someone who's uptight who doesn't enjoy life because Leo's like, what's the point of having money if you're not going to enjoy it? Capricorn does enjoy it, but in their own particular way. Now, when it comes to activities, now Capricorn is all about going to nice places, nice restaurants, but not all the time, at least not the way Leo does. Leo's all about going out in the town, trying something new, having to go to that new place that just opened. They're all about trending and going out and socializing and being with their friends and being the life of the party. And Capricorn is not about that. Capricorn does enjoy going out. I don't want to sit there, sit here and sound, make Capricorn sound like they're a hermit, but they don't need to be at the most happening spots to have a good time. They don't have to be at the most trendiest spots. They can have a good time anywhere as long as there's substance to the place they're going. And not to mention Capricorn likes to be at home too. They like to cuddle on the couch. They like to have good quality time, having real communication, real, like, real discussions, not that superficial, you know, this is what I have and this is what I do and, and this is why you should like me. Not those type of conversations that Leo tends to have. And Leo can find this not very exciting. They, they're going to see Capricorn as a homebody, someone who's not outgoing. But Capricorn is. He's just got, it takes time to bring that out. And, and Leo is not the most patient when it comes to this. Also, Capricorn is very traditional. They're all about old-fashioned values or even creating new traditions and family. Now, can these two complement each other in any way? Yes, actually they can. They can complement each other if they're fully evolved. A fully evolved Capricorn can ground and stabilize Leo and get Leo to reach their goals and ambitions with structure. And Leo can actually get Capricorn to lighten up because the truth of the matter is Capricorn can be a very pessimistic sign and Leo being that sunny, enthusiastic, positive sign can actually get Capricorn to, you know, loosen up and quit being so uptight. So they can complement each other here. Now, if they do decide to make a family, they can actually thrive here because Leo can provide the warmth, love, and protection that children need and even spoil them just a little bit, not too much, but just enough. And Capricorn can provide discipline and focus and ambition into the children. So they can complement each other here if they decide to form a family. Now, when it comes to the bedroom, now remember, if this part doesn't apply to or doesn't resonate with the Leo or Capricorn you're interested, make sure you look up the Mars sign of their birth charts, okay? But traditionally, Leo is very... Uh, is all about flirtatiousness, all about sex, all about passion. So they want to get in the bedroom quickly or as fast as possible. Capricorn does enjoy sex and they, and they have passion, but they're not just going to jump into bed quickly. It doesn't matter how attracted they are to Leo. Because Leo being that animalistic, because Leo likes animalistic, fiery, passionate sex and intense sex and likes to get down to business quickly. Capricorn, like I said, has trust issues. So when they first have intimacy with Leo, they're not going to bring out everything that they have to offer. There's, it's going to be very vanilla until they learn to trust Leo. But if for some reason that trust develops 
well. Capricorn is actually similar to Leo. They both like to dominate in the bedroom. And when there's two dominant signs in the bedroom, and it can, it can create some actual intense, aggressive, powerful sex, which who doesn't enjoy that? But the problem here is, is that Capricorn likes to be organized and they like to plan. That's actually, I should have mentioned that earlier in the relationship aspect. Capricorn likes to plan, Leo not so much, but that also applies to the bedroom. Now Leo's all about spontaneity and just doing it. Whereas Capricorn, they love the aggressiveness, the kinkiness, and the experimentation of sex, but they like to plan it. Like for example, they, they could probably be fantasizing about Leo all day and they'll have like a certain plan, like I'm gonna seduce Leo like this and I'm gonna pin Leo down like this. I'm gonna tie Leo up like this. They're, they're planning it. And it's really, it's really a really well thought, very erotic plan. It's just that Leo has to be able to give in that dominant part of themselves during sex every once in a while and allow Capricorn to plan. If they just go with Capricorn's plan, Leo might be delightfully surprised at how Cap what Capricorn brings to the table sexually. And Capricorn, if they can just compromise themselves and just forget about planning and enjoy the moment of sex, these two can have a wonderful, wonderful sex life. Again, I hope you guys are liking these videos. If you do, please like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I talk about, you know, my life. I also do Zodiac memes. I talk about paranormal there. I also announce when I'm going to post a video or when I'm going to take votes on the next compatibility series on Instagram. Also, you can support my channel by making a donation to the link below. I'll provide that information in the video details. Again, it's your girl, Jilly. Peace. As always, I love you guys.